if I were making some small pieces like this for feet for a table, ideally I would use a long piece of timber and we would face side, face edge and thickness and then we'd cut the short lengths out of it. But this was some um, African black wood and I only had it in short six inch lengths. So we had to use a different strategy for planing them down. What I've done here, I've taken a piece of MDF and I've cut a pocket, basically the size of the material. The material can sit in that pocket. This being a constant thickness is great for the plane sole to reference off. I can hold the timber in there, I can plane my timber. It'll only come down to the thickness of the MDF as long as I don't start planing the MDF. Once I'd got that face side finished, I would flip it over end for end, which means the grain direction will be the correct direction. And I would put a bit of veneer in there, which will lift it up by half a millimeter. So I just have a skim to off this second face. If we're now happy that we've got good, flat, consistent, thickness timber, I now need to work on doing the edge. The edge again can be quite difficult to try and balance a plane on. So to get over that, I would put them in the vise. I've got a small batten strapped inside the vise. That forms a little shelf, my timber to sit in. And I can then reference get my flat plane on the MDF. And I can plane this one much easier than trying to balance on a thin edge. And also the long plane will stay flat on here. If I've got that edge done and I've prepared all my timbers to that stage, I would move the batten in the vise up to a fixed position. So all of these could be dropped back in and planed down to a desired width. Only thing to deal with then is doing the end grain.